My name is Eddie Morris. I'm Vice President for Clinical Quality at the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists and I'm here to talk about dilatation and curatage for the diagnosis of heavy menstrual bleeding and why it's being included as part of the NHS evidence-based intervention programme. Dilatation and curatage is a process of gently stretching the neck of the womb, the cervix, under general anaesthetic uh, and then performing a scraping of the lining of the womb for uh, diagnostic and what was thought to be treatment processes in the past. Dilatation and curatage has largely been replaced over the past 20 years by a process known as hysteroscopy and biopsy, which is frequently performed in the outpatient setting. The reason why this has been developed is because modern optics and digital technology have allowed us to get much clearer pictures of the inside of the womb so we can easily visualise what's going on within the womb and sometimes actually treat at the same time. Because the technology to perform a hysteroscopy is much smaller than it was when it first came out, we've been able to now perform these procedures in an outpatient setting. This has less impact on the woman herself, but also has a beneficial impact on the healthcare system in that these procedures can now be done in the outpatient setting and not draw on the use of inpatient theatres. Myself and my colleagues at the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists strongly support the inclusion of dilatation and curatage as part of the NHS evidence-based intervention programme. This allows us to ensure that patients receive the most appropriate and a procedure with best outcomes to make sure that we concentrate the NHS resources where they're needed most. 